The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ Chapter 43 Jesus and Ashbia visit Babylon and remark its desolation. The two masters remain in company seven days, then Jesus resumes his homeward journey. Arise in Nazareth. His mother gives a feast in his honor. His brothers are displeased. Jesus tells his mother and aunt the story of his journeys. The ruined Babylon was near, and Jesus and the sage went through her gates and walked among her fallen palaces. They trode the streets where Israel once was held in base captivity. They saw where Judah's sons and daughters hung their harps upon the willows and refused to sing. They saw where Daniel and the Hebrew children stood as living witnesses of faith. And Jesus lifted up his hands and said, Behold the grandeur of the works of man. The king of Babylon destroyed the temple of the Lord in old Jerusalem. He burned the holy city, bound in chains my people and my kin, and brought them here as slaves. But retribution comes, for whatsoever men shall do to other men, the righteous judge will do to them. The son of Babylon has gone down. The songs of pleasure will be heard no more within her walls. And every kind of creepy thing an unclean bird will in these ruins find their homes. And in the temple be lust, Jesus and Ashbia stood in silent thought. Then Jesus spoke and said, Behold this monument of folly and of shame. Man tried to shake the very throne of God, and he essayed to build a tower to reach to heaven, when, lo, his very speech was snatched away because in lofty words he boasted of his power. And on these heights the heathen bow stood, the God wrought out by hands of man. Upon your altar, birds and beasts and men, yea, children have been burned in awful sacrifice to Baal. But now the gory priests are dead. The very rocks have shuddered and have fallen down. The place is desolate. Now in the plains of Shinar, Jesus tarried yet for seven days, and with Ashbina meditated long upon the needs of men and how the sages could best serve the coming age. Then Jesus went his way. After many days he crossed the Jordan to his native land. At once he sought his home in Nazareth. His mother's heart was filled with joy. She made a feast for him, inviting all her kindred and her friends. But Jesus' brothers were not pleased that such attention should be paid to the one they deemed a sheer adventurer, and they went not into the feast. They laughed their brother's claims to scorn. They called him indolent, ambitious, vain, a worthless fortune hunter, searcher of the world of fame, who, after many years, returns to mother's home with neither gold nor any other wealth. And Jesus called aside his mother and her sister, Miriam, 
and told them of his journey to the east. He told them of the lessons he had learned and of the works that he had done. To others he told not the story of his life.